I'm here with the new Supermicro 1029U Ultra Server. This is a 1U server and what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about the server and some of the features that are enabled by the new second generation of Intel Xeon scalable processors. So starting up front, what we have is 10 U.2 NVMe hot swap bays. These 10 hot swap bays provide more performance and higher capacity storage than in previous generations. Moving on, the server has an array of counter-rotating redundant fans. These counter-rotating redundant fans mean that you can run your data center at higher ambient temperatures. Those higher ambient temperatures lead to better efficiency and therefore lower TCO. Now we want to get to what is really the heart of the new release, which is the brand new second generation Intel Xeon scalable processors and the new memory configurations that are available with those. Starting with the processors, this particular system has two CPUs. These two CPUs have a number of new features, including more cores, higher clock speed, and new instructions that are going to be useful in this generation. So you may see that the second generation Intel Xeon scalable processor family only goes up to 28 cores like the last generation did. But what Intel actually changed in their SKU stack was they added more cores to many of the common SKUs. They also increase the clock speed. So if you have single threaded applications or applications that are limited by single thread speed, you're actually gonna see a performance boost even at the same number of cores, just from higher clock speeds. The features that are new in this generation are new instructions like VNNI, which allow you to do AI inferencing with higher speeds without requiring the addition of a GPU. Another feature that these new generations have that old generations didn't have is they have the support for Intel Optane DC persistent memory. The Intel Optane DC persistent memory modules range in capacities from 128 to 256 and up to 512 gigabytes per module, and that's a big deal because that means that you can store more in these memory modules than you can on traditional DRAM. Beyond that, these modules are persistent. And what that means is that your data that's stored on these modules can stay safe even through a power reboot cycle. That's something that traditional DRAM can't do. And so what these modules enable you to do is have both higher performance memory than traditional NVMe storage, but also persistent DRAM, which is something that you've never had previously. Moving to the final part of the server, we have a number of features here. So first we have 1600 watt redundant 80 plus titanium power supplies. These are the highest efficiency power supplies on the market. We have a number of networking options. This particular server is configured with 10 gig ethernet. There are a number of boot options that Supermicro has here. Those boot options range from dual SATA DOM slots to there are also two M.2 slots in the chassis. Those M.2 slots can also be used for caching if you want. And then finally, we have two full height, full length add-on cards. So if you need to customize the server even further, you can do so with adding cards. So in summary, the new Supermicro Ultra platform with Intel Xeon scalable second generation processors provides better security, more performance, higher capacity, and better energy efficiency, which is greener for the environment. Thanks for watching. You can check out more from our awesome STH team on the STH main site. We have other videos on YouTube and you can always subscribe to our channel and see whatever is coming out next.